Hi everyone, thanks for coming down today. So uh, I've been told that it's been some time since like a content sort of presentation was made at a WordPress gathering. So I'm very happy to make this presentation. So uh, yeah, today's topic is on five secrets <laughs> to creating viral content on WordPress. And I'm one way. Okay, so like uh, this is the agenda for today. First, I will tell you about a bit more about myself. Then, yeah, I do a few, like, up to maybe 10 so far, viral uh, WordPress posts, and the five secrets, and then the summary. So it's going to be very lighthearted and really fast. So, like, the first question is, of course, why would anyone want to make things viral, and, like, how do you do it organically? Well, this is so that you can get your message across to as many people as possible and without spending a single cent. So to do that, of course, you, the alternative is you hire a PR agency and you pay up to six figures. Lah, so you all choose. Lah. <laughs> but okay, I hope that this will benefit you guys. Okay, so I'm not sure. Oh, this, was, this was actually an unintended thing. So uh, it happened very recently. It's about, uh, okay, so basically this is a personal story and uh, I was invited to a hands party with a few, like three other girls. So like this lady, two ladies were getting married. And then so what happened was that we were locked out of our room uh, during uh, when we were at MBS because the, the hands party was at MBS, uh, Marina Bay Sands. So I wrote this post and then it got like 1,800 Facebook shares, 382 comments. And for some reason, a lot of media contacted me uh, after this incident and then reported on a lot, a lot of mainstream media and then, well, and the total spending was zero. So of course, uh, when I wrote this post, it was with the intention of making it viral, but I didn't, what I didn't expect was that uh, it, I was expecting around like maybe uh, 500 Facebook shares. So this really got out of my expectations. And yeah, so MBS was really very professional in dealing with uh, this incident. And then I got whatever I wanted, so that's good. So who is one way? Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm like this person with the ability to make things viral at will. So uh, this is a bit of my background. I currently work as a PR practitioner and I have a master's in public relations. I've been, I have a track record of working with politicians and C-level people. I interviewed them as a journalist um, for the past two years. So yeah, I did an official sort of like SG50 project, which is the, because last year was like a Finland 100 project. So I was working with the prime minister's office. Yeah, I'm founder of Ikigai and have a house in Helsinki. So I blog about life in Finland. And sometimes the things I blog there, I, it got me into some kind of controversy and yeah, so the uh, Finnish ambassador in Singapore will invite me to coffee, so I drink coffee with her. <laughs> yep. So can you can you learn this kind of viral, um, this kind of ability to make things viral? Yes, because it's a system, and especially so with social media like Facebook, um, it's easier than ever to make things viral. You just need to know certain things to emphasize. So okay, so WordPress. Uh, this is for the Hino blog. Sometimes I talk a lot about politics and actually I'm a PAP supporter, so I'm very open about it. So, uh, so I was, I was, there was one time when Lee Hsien Long got like very, um, a lot of scoldings online and then he made this, do you remember the talk uh, he did? What was the talk? Uh? National Day talk and then he fainted. Who remember it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So after, after he fainted, right, uh, within one hour I wrote this post and it got really, really viral. Like. This post led to like mainstream media coverage as well. Uh, so if you look at this post, right, the first thing you must note about viral posts is the title. Because by seeing this title, I think maybe 60% of people will click on the post already. So, <laughs> so basically, uh, there is this thing on Google called Google Viral Title Generator. You can just type the topic you want to write on and then click Generate Title. Yeah, so I got the title there. And it, uh, this post was a lot of reach. Oh, this post, after I wrote this post, right, then the PAP people actually invited me for coffee. So if you, this is a great way, you know, it's like, you know, you don't approach PAP people and say that, hey, I want to help you grow your party. You don't do that. You just write a viral post, they will approach you. And once they approach you, you have negotiating power. So that's the difference. Okay? 
Yeah, so like, uh, this is for Ikigai. So uh, I support blockchain projects, which I personally believe in. So Stellar Lumens is one of the projects with really very good community. So they did like, they have a lot of community events in Singapore. So uh, this one went viral because uh, I posted it on Reddit. So Reddit has a really good blockchain community. So whatever you post there is like free. And different from other industries, if you post things on Reddit to to promote yourself, right? Usually the Reddit people will scold you and then they will sort of like block your post or delete your post. But no, not for not the, not for a blockchain industry. Because they really it's a community ground up kind of um initiative. So this one usually different topics you use different distribution channels to actually post. Yep. So this one did quite well. Okay, so the viral method one, right, is like don't be afraid to polarize. This is very important because a lot of people they want to be part of the crowd. So like when they have a stand, they will not say they have a stand. They will come and tell you, uh yeah, but it depends on certain things. So when people say that, I'm like, uh, don't talk to them anymore. <laughs> so okay, have an opinion, stand for it, be interesting. Of course, uh, this again, I'm making it from the context of making things viral. Of course, you don't. It really depends on your message. Some things you don't really need to make viral, so don't make it viral. You know. So the second part is write your stand in the thumbnail description and choose a very interesting featured image because. We did a bit of A-B testing as well. So usually, if you put a picture of a hot girl with, who's smiling, right, it will do very, very well. We <laughs> tried this before for a dating website. So there was this, we put this girl's picture, uh, a very sweet, smiling girl, and the cost per ad, right, cost per click went down to one cent, which was like, I've never seen this kind of stats before. So pictures are very important. Uh, like Wing mentioned just now, you can use Unsplash. Unsplash has beautiful pictures and they are free because they are Creative Commons Zero. Use Yoast SEO plugin if needed. Just now it was mentioned in the first presentation. Uh, except that some people might like your opinion and some people might not like it. But it's okay. If they don't like it, it's even better because they will share and they will score you. So once they score you, it will become more viral. So you, you just have to be prepared for controversy, which is okay, it's fine. So all great brands were polarized. You'll never find a boring plan that a brand that is uh, lukewarm. Actually, lukewarm is really, really bad. If you read the Bible, even Jesus polarized. He even said that lukewarm is bad. So all, pu all negative publicity is great publicity, which leads to my second point. So when you do hype, right, you need to be very clear. You need to have clarity of mind of why you're hyping something. So whatever I write with the intention of making it viral, I have an end objective in mind, and it doesn't even matter what other people think, as long as I know. And I don't even have to tell anyone what my objective is. So hype and attention is very addictive, because you get a lot of, uh, you suddenly get a lot of attention, which I uh, personally I feel is addictive. So always know why you are seeking hype. Is your end goal money? Is your end goal reach? Is your end goal a certain resolution? Like if you want to type a complaint, which I did. So uh, you have to write your, you have to craft your message in a certain way with the end goal in mind. Or is your end goal experimental data? Like you want, you just want to see how people react. So hype is a double-edged sword. So sensationalism is okay to me as long as you are aware of your intentions. Yeah. So viral method three, <laughs> pick or one, pick on one or two strong emotions. So in a very in a in a article, right? Don't write so many emotions because it's very confusing. So just pick on one or two emotions. For instance, this requires, of course, self-awareness and also awareness of what makes people share things. One emotion is like excitement. So if you're excited over some, something when you block, naturally, people who are excited about it, they will share. The other, the other very um, common emotion that people used to pick, right, is actually fear fear of missing out. So usually if you can touch on this emotion, the post will go viral. Then once again, it goes back to the previous post, like you need to be aware of why you're doing it. Yeah, so which pain points are you picking on when you write on WordPress and when you share it? Yeah, viral method four, use existing distribution channels. So of course, if you have your own Facebook group, Facebook page is good because you you grow it over time, and you don't have to pay people to use their distribution channels. Um, but even if you don't have your Facebook group, there are free distribution channels to use. One very good channel is Reddit. Uh, other, other channels you can consider is face, other people's Facebook group. 
but you need to seek the approval of the admin. So it's always a good strategic move to be friends with the admin. And meanwhile, start your own Facebook group if you are in it for the long haul. Mm, yeah, it always helps if you write for the community. That's why it's open hot. Okay, something about WordPress.org that's powerful is, is open source. So it's very community driven. And then they will share things they want. So we do community marketing, which is very precious, I feel, because it's like ground up. Yeah, so you just talk to people and like talk to people who have a similar vision, philosophy in life. And then, yeah, grow together and make friends. So, um, yeah, the other, the other, uh, the last method is to use Jetpack and then, you know, follow the data on your dashboard. Like, they will tell you by distribution who comes from where. And I think that's very important to have data. Yeah, very method. Five, sex and good design sell. So if you, so the first thing is that use WordPress design to appeal to the most primal stuff. So uh, just go to Team Forest to browse because Jet, um, WordPress, you, there are some templates with like one click. So you just click and then it's there already, which is amazing, man. Like because I have a lot of friends who don't do the CSS. Then I just ask them, go Team Forest and, you know, buy the one click install, which is like really, really amazing. So some primal stuff are like, primal stuff are like not up to you to control, you know. So like if you want things to go viral, people's attention spans are very short. So you just pick on the things that people cannot not control. Yeah. So things like food, sex, youth, humor, intelligence. And because attention span is so short, you need to be very succinct in your marketing message or your communication message. So also think about your own strength. Like if, uh, if you... Uh, articulate if you're more comfortable in front of video, then use video and then make your WordPress site reflect your strength. So uh, there are WordPress sites with design that you are used to accentuate uh, videos. Um, if you are a photographer, that's like amazing. You just find this template, which is very visual. And then if you, uh, for me, I'm most comfortable with words because I, yeah, I just like writing. I read a lot. So um, if you go to my site, usually I write a lot. Then the next part is also have a branding kit. It, uh, I really encourage people to have branding kit so that it's very consistent with your personality, your brand. Yeah, like just now I was talking to Sarah and she mentioned that she has branding kit. And when I heard it, I was really happy. Yeah, because not a lot of people think about branding kit when they're doing things for your personal uh, WordPress site. Um, yeah, then also like remember that attraction is not a choice when you do viral stuff. So if you can accept that attraction is not a choice, then it will be easier to do viral posts. So recap, don't be afraid to polarize. Hide with the end in mind. It's personally the most important thing to me to be very aware why you are seeking attention. Pick on one or two strong emotions in your post. Use existing distribution channels. Expensive doesn't mean good. Uh, what is important is you need to know your community very well. And then the last one is design and sex sales. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Any questions? Since the question of data, um, did you measure, did you only measure page views or did you also measure the behavior of the viral users? Because, for example, we see that uh, when something has viral, People would just set the bounce rate hundred percent, they would never come back to your website. Oh, so yeah. it's a really good quality of traffic. So what's your comment on, on, on the quality of traffic? Uh, okay, bounce rate is a very interesting view because the things I write about that uh, from past statistics, I tend to write about things I feel strongly about. So my bounce rate is around sixty percent to seventy percent per viral post. <laughs> However, I get a lot of invites to Prime Minister Office. And I think that is very important for political stuff. Uh, then the second part is for, let's say for my blockchain magazine, the media. Um, usually the community will appreciate that I'm doing this for them. And of course, as part of the community, I, I mean, it's a privilege. I treat it as a privilege to share things. So if there is bounce rate, I don't really, I, I personally regard a bounce rate of 60 to 70% as okay, not too bad. Yeah, and most importantly, yeah, I, I, I do understand your question. One other method I measure is the number of comments because sometimes it can be really, really polarizing. So the comments are very polarized as well. Yeah. No more questions. <laughs> okay, thank you.